Hello everyone and welcome back. We're playing some more Galactic Civil War here and we're going to be checking out a different map today. We're going to be checking out uh, some Bespin because last time we played Tatooine. We're going to check out some Bespin. Also probably going to make another video of this game here. Uh, check out Mustafar. Uh, I don't think we'll check out Hoth or any of the other maps yet just because they're not, they're not, you know, fully finished. Unless you guys want to see that. This map actually looks sweet because it's off of, uh, you know, the newer movie. But we're going to check out Bespin, and also while we're checking out Bespin, I want to talk a little bit about um, the possibility of a game getting shut down. There's a lot of controversy, and people saying a cease and desist is going to happen very shortly. And I kind of want to just discuss that a little bit, what we're, what we're showing off this awesome Bespin map. So let's go ahead and get down into it. Alright guys, so it's just like the last map. You got the Empire, you got the Resistance. So we're going to go ahead and spawn here. You can obviously spawn space, ground, space, ground. So we're going to spawn on the ground, then we'll go ahead and spawn in the space. Just kind of show off this map here. And obviously, you got the space battle that's about to be going on here. You got some, uh, sh you'll have some ships coming in from hyperspace. Any minute now, there's one couple. You can start flowing in in hyperspace, which is fucking just sick. I just love it. Man, this game has so much potential to be amazing. Look at all those ships. Like, there's just so much going on here. And the way this game runs, it's actually not bad for how much is actually going on within the map. Um, like I said, sometimes the AI is just stupid as hell. Sometimes they're, you know, pretty accurate and take you out pretty quickly, but for the most part, they're pretty dumb. Not, not surprising for a free alpha, to be honest. That'll guarantee that won't make it into the final version. If this game makes it to the final version. And that's kind of where I want to start with, um, Saying it's going to get a cease and desist here. Um, they're comparing it to Galaxy and Turmoil. Saying oh, it's going to get a cease and desist. They're just using Star Wars assets to get you know get people popular or get people notice their game. Which I don't technically think that's that's actually what's happening here. Um, there's a few things that Galaxy and Turmoil did differently than this game. One, Galaxy and Turmoil. I never actually saw any really gameplay of the game. It was just mainly screenshots and short little clips with the Star Wars assets. They also, they're not using the Star Wars name in this game. Um, the other one was called Star Wars Galaxy in Turmoil. This one's not called Star Wars Galaxy in Turmoil. This one's just called the Galactic Civil War. So that's that's big. They're also not trying to put it on the Steam Marketplace. It's just an, you know, an indie developer on a small indie website making a game for free. Um, there's a lot, oh shit, I totally killed my guy. There's lots of free fan-made Star Wars stuff out there. That doesn't get shut down. You can you can type on YouTube and type in fan made Star Wars film, and there'll probably be a shit ton of Star Wars films that are fan made. Disney never steps in and says no, 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 because you know what? They're not charging people to watch the video. It's just fan made. This guy's not charging people to play his game. It's just fan made. So, which I feel you know, and I think Galaxy Terminal is free, but like I said, they were using the Star Wars name, and. They also, there's a YouTuber called Blue Drake 42 I believe is his name. If I can find the video, I'll leave a good link in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. But right after the cease and desist of Galaxy and Turmoil, he basically came out and said he was pretty close with the developers. And while they were making the game, he told them, hey, make sure you guys have everything that is Star Wars easily replaceable. He pretty much told them, you're using this, you know, you need to use the Star Wars assets to get popular and then make sure you have a backup plan and I, I really think that's what happened there um, they had all these other assets pretty done pretty quickly right after they got the season assist it now it looks similar to Mass Effect you know it's just a sci-fi Star Wars shooter which still looks really cool I'm still pretty excited to see the finished project when it's done wouldn't mind checking it out and I you know I don't blame them if they were using the Star Wars asset to you know kind of get popular get their name heard um, you gotta do what you gotta do as an indie developer. It's a lot of comp oh, shit. A lot of guys right here. A lot of competition with the you know triple A games. It's hard to hard to get yourself noticed. Which is kinda why I'm showing this game off because I mean I wanna show how how great this game looks and would really like him to finish the game. Even if you know something happens and EA says, No 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 no, you can't make this game anymore. All he's gotta do is change the assets and I wouldn't be all I wouldn't really all be all that mad. Because I just want to see this game finished. And we just spawned inside a ship. So we're going to go ahead and... Where's it at? We're going to go over here inside the ship. To show you there's a little uh, shield generator. Which is pretty 
pretty sick. You can fly into like an enemy base, I'm, I'm guessing, and destroy their shield generator, which is sick and nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here. There's some rooms that are not finished in here, as you guys can see. Obviously, still working on it, but this game's only, I think he said, what was it, 92%? So yeah, so he's still got more to work on. So far, done pretty well. And here we go. Here's a little shield generator. Has a little health bar, so I'm imagine you can fly into an enemy base. Bright as hell. Kind of wish you would tone that down a little bit. Like it is cool, it is super bright, but at the same time, it's a little, a little too bright. I think he just needs to tone it down just a tad. Because uh, you're running in here having a battle with a bunch of people, you can't even see. Like if there's an enemy over there, you wouldn't barely be able to see them. I think you should tone that down a little bit, but that's just personal opinion. And then it looks like in this room here, uh, there'll probably be something, I would imagine. It's gonna do something with that room. Move on over here. That's pretty much it, that's all he's got so far in here. Still pretty cool looking. Let me go ahead and jump on the next wing. But I am interested, guys, in what you guys think about this possible cease and desist that they so-called people are worried about. So far, I haven't heard anything about EA or Disney even contacting this developer, even considering it, um, which is a good sign. So hopefully it won't happen. God, I love the sounds in this. Like who wouldn't who wouldn't want to play this game? Look at that. I could just fly down there and just have some ground combat. I think, you know, I think honestly, for Disney and EA, they should just let this guy make his fan-made game. Oh man, you know. It would make uh, you know EA not look so evil. Because personally, I'm not a huge fan of EA. Not feel like that. There we go. Jesus. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of EA. I mean, they have you know, all these developers making Star Wars games right now. They're making a fuck ton of money. Let this let this guy have his uh, you know, his indie game here. It's not gonna hurt your sales, EA. If anything, if EA came out and said, you know what, we're gonna let this guy make his game. I feel like there will be a lot of support in the community for EA. I personally would applaud EA for it, and I'm not a big fan of EA. I was actually super, super upset when I heard EA got the rights to Star Wars. I was like, great. Of all the companies, which I wasn't surprised it was EA, but of all the companies, they have the rights for 10 fucking years. And I was not super excited about that. So, that's personal opinion. Everything I say here is personal opinion, so... Don't tell me to kill myself in the comments, you know, if you disagree with me, you disagree with me. And I'd let me know in the comments. You can let me know that you disagree with me in a nice way without telling me I should kill myself and you hate me or whatever. But interested in this whole little little theory here on if this game will make it or not. And I just want to know what you guys think. I personally think it has a, a fair chance of making it without getting shut down. Just because it is... Like I said, multiple times, it's a small fan game for free. It's not trying to profit anything, it's not trying to be on the Steam Marketplace, it's not trying to use Star Wars name. Yes, these are technically kind of Star Wars assets, because this is an X-Wing. Um, and if he does, you know, get a season assist, I will still support this game, I will still make videos of it. As long as he continues to uh, in development, you know, along, even if it's not Star Wars related, I will still support him, because this game looks sick and he's done a lot of, you know, work on this all. I think this ship's about to blow up here. This is actually... I've seen uh, seen some stuff on these blowing up. It's actually pretty cool. It like splits in half, so let's see. Yeah, there it goes. You know, a little, little glitchy, but it's still pretty fucking awesome. And then it kind of just falls out of the sky, and I think it lands... I don't know where it would land here. I've seen, I've seen it crash a boost fire, and it like landed like on a mountain. Which was like pretty sweet. I wonder. I wonder if you know he'll ever he'll ever be able to get some of these cannons because I mean it's blown up now, but there usually are cannons that sit like right about there. I wonder if he'll be able to fly those. I wonder if I can get one of those little guys too. Oh, I think it blow me up. That works too. I'll go ahead and spawn from hyperspace just because hyperspace is super sick. Oh god, like I can't believe he thought like it were, you know the fact that he thought of that is just. Amazing. Holy shit. Oh, that little guy just blew up. Looks like it just kind of turns into debris there. Let's go, let's go check out this blown, you know, this uh, taken down ship here. Looks like part of it's gonna land on uh, 
actual near the city, the other parts just gonna fall into limbo. And this is this is the part that I just love the most. Like I can just seamlessly fly into atmosphere, you get a little burn up going on, because you're flying into atmosphere. The fact that you can do this is just amazing. Oh, it looks like the whole whole ship might just fall. It's still pretty cool though. Like you'd be down here fighting and you just see a star part of a star destroyer fall near the city. And go, oh shit. It's like a, it's like it's leveling it out or something. I guess it's just gonna float there. On Mustafar, like I said, it lands like kinda on like a mountain, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and just land right here. Not sure how to land. There we go. Yeah. Can't believe I actually did a seamlessly I can't believe I actually lived up there. I don't think I can make that jump. I really don't think I can make that jump. Well, I think this is probably a pretty fair spot to end the video here. But like I said, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this game. If you guys think it'll make it all the way through the development. If you guys think it's just going to get shut down, the guy's going to give up and not make anything more. If you think he might continue the game. I don't know, just let me know what you guys think. Like I said, don't, don't hate me for my opinion. It's just my personal opinion if you don't like it. Sorry. Hey, look, the game crashed. It's only like that's all actually only like the second time the game crashed. But so let me know. I'm I'm super interested in what you guys want to know. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll be following this game no matter what happens to it. Follow it all the way to the end here. And you know I'll be checking out pretty much anything Star Wars related on this channel. And peace.